Hey guys, welcome to a video that I hope goes well because I have not tested this at all and knowing my history with recipes, this could all go very wrong very quickly. I've tried to keep this as simple as possible to prevent as many mistakes as possible. So we only have three ingredients for making these quote unquote gingerbread houses. Obviously not actual gingerbread because that would be kind of awful. Not that gingerbread is awful, but that giving gingerbread to hamsters is awful. It's a, it's a hot spicy food and they're delicate little... So to make these experimental houses, I have a quarter cup of flour, a quarter cup of oats, and the whole jar of peanuts. Also, I'm really sorry to all my non-American viewers who are now going to have to convert the cup measurement. Uh, rest assured, I don't understand it either. Of course, I have my fantastic mini gingerbread cutting house thing cutter thing that I got from Wish for like two quid, I don't know. If you don't have any of these, uh, you suck, you can't make them, sorry. Or you could just cut these shapes out on your own, you don't necessarily need cutters, I'm just really really lazy and um, wanted to spend more money than was actually necessary. Also have a rolling pin, a food chopper to make the peanut butter. If you don't have one of these, don't worry too much. I'm going to talk about that a little bit when we get to the peanuts. And I have a coffee grinder for grinding up the oats, but again, don't really need to do that. I just wanted to flex my supermarket brand appliances that cost me 10 quid each. The first and most long-winded thing that I need to do that I would have definitely done way before filming this video if I was actually an organized person is to make the peanut butter. Yeah. Now, if you're a more sensible person, you'll just go out and buy the peanut butter, but you gotta make sure when you're making things for your pets, when you buy commercial peanut butter, it must be 100% peanuts. Check those ingredients. If it has anything else, leave it on the shelf. I, however, am going to be shelling the peanuts myself and then making the peanut butter myself. Yay! I don't even know how many I need because I've not tested the recipe. This is gonna take a while. Why don't I have a bin? Where is my bin? You can be my bin. Peanuts are literally the worst food on the planet. I'm not even allergic to them, I just hate them. They're horrible, they smell bad, they taste bad. Should we do some ASMR peanut cracking? Is this what's gonna get me the views, huh? Peanut cracking? ASMR peanut cracking. Yeah. I'm gonna be bringing in all the weirdos. <laughs> I'm just making a mess. And so are the people at home. At what point do I run the risk of getting demonetized? How far can I go? One peanut. Awful. Oh, one new as well. Well, that evens it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one. Hey, Dean, you want a peanut? Sorted. Right, so I'm gonna shove me peanuts. I'm trying to put a lot of emphasis on that tea. In me blender thing. We're gonna we're gonna blend them up. Can this be ASMR? No, it can't because it's not turned on. <laughs> oh, it's actually not turned on at the socket. with you. Hmm. Dan, could you bring me a spoonchula and also the quarter cup measure? Spoonchula? The root word being spatula. That means it's a spatula that's been formed into the shape of a spoon. A flat spoon is a spoon that has been flattened. You have been educated. Thank you for my spoonchula. All right, that's gonna have to do because I can't be bothered to do any more. So we're gonna pop the quarter cup of flour and the quarter-ish cup of peanut butter into the bowl. Mmm, lovely. Now, if you don't have a coffee grinder or you're not allowed to use a coffee grinder that's in your home, you can put your oats straight into the mixture, but I am going to turn them into more of a powder. So I have cleaned this one out. There's no coffee residue left in it, don't worry. We'll not have caffeinated hamsters. <laughs> I'm going to pour that in, very nice, uh, delicious, and then, because I don't want to ask Dan back again, I'm going to use my spoonchula to mix everything together. Ideally, you'd want to use a fork, or an actual spoon, um, no, <laughs> sod it, let's just go in, let's use the hands, oh that's actually a lot easier, maybe you want to use your hands, this works, this works quite well. Uh, so now, I've got this kind of grainy, powdery thing. So to turn this into an actual dough, I'm gonna take 
little bit of water. We're going to pour the water in a little bit at a time and just mix it in until it forms a dough. Lovely, lovely. I think that's probably going to be enough. It's feeling a bit squelchy. So you've got your ball of dough or I have my ball of dough. You won't have your ball of dough because you're watching this and I'm assuming you're not following me along step by step the first time you view it. If you are, Bit stupid. Got a bit more flour for sprinkling the surface with. Make sure my peanut butter dough ball doesn't get stuck. Professional chefs we are. Now we're just gonna roll it out. Roll it out nice and thin. There we go. Got a nice, very sturdy piece of dough. Uh, and, and now I guess we're just gonna cut out some pieces. I need two of these front pieces, two of these pieces, and two of these pieces. I know what I'm doing. And if I keep saying that, I'll convince everyone that it's true. Bonus points, by the way, you can make this for dogs too. My dogs are gonna be eating any of the leftovers because there's no way I'm gonna be able to feed all of this to my hamsters. Um, I have one Syrian and one dwarf and the dwarf's definitely not gonna be able to eat a whole house to themselves. I've cut out enough pieces to make four different houses. That's one for each hamster and one for each dog. So now I'm just gonna slam them in the oven. 150 degrees, 10 minutes. I think that should work. And before it gets asked, no, you can't put these in the microwave. They need to be dried out. You can only do that in an oven. Microwaves cook in a different way, so just making sure that's been said. So I've got all my lovely house-shaped biscuits that are now nice and hard, and it's time to start joining them together. Now, what you could do, <laughs> what you could do, and what I now recommend doing is just using more peanut butter to stick them together. Don't do what I decided to do, which was to melt down some yogurt drops, forgetting how bad melted yogurt drops smell. Also, they look like baby poo. I hope this works now. I really, cause I, this is gonna be, ugh. Yeah, I shouldn't have done this. This was a bad idea. I don't think I've even glued them right. I think they were supposed to go on the inside. I've put them on the outside. This is supposed to be fun. I'm not feeling the fun. Oh, I can't. I can't. I'm, I'm finding something else to glue them with. Okay, I think I may have had a genius plan. I've got a little bit of leftover dough. So I think if I add some water to it, which will make it a bit stickier, I could glue them together with the dough. So if I roll this out ooh, into a long sausage and then we just stick it. Aha! This is working. And then we shall take our wall pieces and we shall just stick them. Ha <laughs> ha! This, this isn't nearly as cute as I thought it would be. Ah, I think I see what I did wrong. Okay, so we stick, we stick this wall in on the inside, not the outside. I mean that, that, now I'm looking at it, it seems logical. <gasps> I was putting the roof on the wrong way as well. But you're just a mess of a house. Oh, I suck at this. I suck. I, I j just sucky, sucky person. Erin, make more baking videos. This is why I don't make more baking videos. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Honestly, once Vanilla Ham Ham started making baking videos, it was, it was basically a lost cause for the rest of us anyway. <laughs> she is the queen, the queen of hamster baking. Yay, <laughs> that looks so much better. Oh my goodness, my first house was such a fail. I mean, oh my goodness. Nearly one o'clock in the morning and I've got to wake up at eight. I'm not feeling it. I am not feeling it. Hello, my name's Jeremy and on weekends I like to make gingerbread houses for my hamsters. I also like to collect replica vintage buttons for my replica vintage button collection. Well, that's as good as it's gonna get. So you're gonna just have to be happy with that. So we've got the baby poo house, the wide house, the passable house, and the house that'll be in the thumbnail image. <laughs>
I regret all the decisions I've made here this evening. If for some reason you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like down below. Um, you could also send it to a friend that you hate. And if you're also into making regrettable decisions, you can subscribe to my channel for more content. I now have a huge mess to clean up before I go to bed. So, um, yeah. Bye. in a house. Great. Glad I spent an hour making that. Here you go, boy.